Peter, here we are, we're at Lurgan Park, which has kind of been at the centre of a bit of controversy uh, over the last couple of months with a lot of anti-social behaviour and criminal damage to some of this beautiful new park, this play park that's been put in. Uh, so can you talk to us a wee bit what you've heard from, from the residents? Well, I suppose it started maybe this time last year when the play park was refurbished. Uh, there was a sort of an, have been you know regular increases or spikes in anti-social behaviour since then. One of the worst was in March of this year when there was a number of organised fights and play damage to the play park. At that time, council brought in additional security uh, contractor, Eventsec, to work along with the PSNI and community safety wardens to do increased patrols of the park and other anti-social behaviour hotspots. That seemed to calm things down, uh, although recently there was the, again some additional minor damage to the playground with the trampoline and swing being, um, being damaged and some graffiti being placed on the uh, slides. We're, but working with um, you know, police and community safety uh, partnership to hopefully again try to reduce that volume of anti-social behaviour. Lurgan uh, Park is the second largest urban park in Ireland. It's well used and well liked by many within the town of Lurgan. It's one of Lurgan's best kept secrets. Everyone who comes to Lurgan and sees the park, you know, is, is sort of blown away by its, its majestic nature, its number of tr uh, and quantity of, uh, you know, diversity of trees as well as the lake itself. So it's one of the biggest assets Council has, so we need to make sure we're looking after it regularly and making sure people feel safe to go to the park and, you know, and use it as they like. Longer term, I would like to maybe see lighting being installed in the park so that in the, summer, in the winter months, when nights are darker, people are able to come and walk around and run around. Because I know there's some other facilities in council, like a People's Park and Port Down have lights and it's well used in those winter evenings. So long term, that's something that could maybe come to Lurgan Park and maybe help some tackle some of the anti-social behaviour within the park and other areas of town, give people more things to do. Yeah, and I think that that's probably one of the, one of the things is making it a safe and inviting place for, for the local people to come to and people from outside of the area as well, I suppose, that want to come and see Yarden Park for the first time. What's kind of been, have you heard from many residents talking about uh, the issues or any kind of antisocial behaviour that they've witnessed then? Well, there was frustration uh, for local residents, particularly ones with young children who maybe uh, they're bring, bringing the kids to the play park but saying that maybe there's a lot of, you know, older you know, children are certainly teenagers using foul and abusive language, which maybe then put people off using the park. I mean, park staff would engage with maybe some of those um, kind of you know people if they are getting up to a bit of ASB. One thing that has happened recently on the back of all of this is that police are doing more cycle patrols. So I don't know, maybe if we're here long enough, we'll see the Lurgan uh, Community Neighbourhood Policing Team cycling in and past, and they have certainly increased the footfall in the park. So that's hopefully bodes well if, if we can you know, keep tackling the antisocial behaviour or the messages we can get out there. That the parks to be used you know, by children under the age of 14, and, but there's other wide expansive grounds that everyone else can use, including you know, there's plenty of space for football and there's cricket pitch and all there as well. So certainly a well equipped park for a uh, diversity of range of people. And probably one of the most important things is youth engagement probably because that's been lost over the last year and there's probably a lot of young people frustrated and not having anything to do, which has probably led to this increase in antisocial behaviour. Yeah, when the youth provision services were all sort of closed as part of lockdown, we certainly did see, you know, children not being able to do much else who would have normally gone to youth clubs or youth projects. So that's one thing Council have done is that we're running a number of summer schemes based out of our you know, leisure recreation facilities and some for community centres as well to offer a bit more, you know, uh, diversity of things to do for younger people in the summer months, you know, when they're when they're off for school.